Good morning, people. It is a pumpkin spice kind of day. <laughs> How many of you guys have already gotten a pumpkin spice or something with pumpkin? Tell me. Tell me. And let me know in a comment what should me and Kiri try in London today or tomorrow. Let us know. Let us know. Okay. Maybe you are even living in London, so maybe you're going to see us. <laughs> I would love to run into one of you guys. That would be epic. That would make my trip. <laughs> Today, when I tap into energy, I saw a third eye being activated. So I feel today is a day where our senses are just spot on. Uh, <laughs> Another confirmation, we are daydreaming, we are doing all the good stuff. What else are we doing? We are daydreaming, have I already said that? <laughs> there is just a very magical energy. Today, yeah, today, today, to, this week has been very dreamy, right? Like the the messages and the energies that has come out are very like loving creative which I know from myself that I actually tend to be more creative when we are moving into autumn and obviously I am a Libra baby so <laughs> maybe it makes sense, right? That I feel more alive in the months of September October and then November December I love Christmas as well so <laughs> there you go there's just something around what's happening right now for all of us with the energies and with energy that I got in you could actually end up falling in love today so just be aware of that energy obviously it could be falling in love with a person but it could also just be falling in love with a new passion or falling in love with an item falling in love with life but you are falling in love with something today that is the energy that i another confirmation that i feel for today yeah i want to take oracle today as a beginning and we have to wait until next week to bring out the, the autumn decks um the autumn uh, Oracle, but I just saw a card that I don't think we have gotten today. Moonlight, look at that. That's a very sensitive card. You falling in love with the moon. Is there something around the moon? Again, moon feelings. I do want to take that card, but I also just want to mishmash and see what else. Maybe I'm falling in love with a place. Because look at that. It looks very old. Mm. Connecting with something from the past. Something that's connected with history. Magic pri prayer and follow the leader. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Oh. There's something that's being activated. And maybe you actually spoke a little prayer to the moon had a quiet moment with the moon when we had the blue moon because this is blue and now something's being activated huh i do want to take the book what a magical week your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane logical and analytical follow it well, follow the leader. Oh my god, people. It makes sense that this is the next card. Because, yeah, follow it. And it makes sense that the energy that I tapped into was this energy of being very intuitive, very spot on. <sighs> the knowledge is flowing. Like, if you want to have answers from spirit today, it's just going to arrive. It's just going to come your way. Yeah. Don't resist a second guess today. Uh uh. Because you know. So, with the follow the leader, we have every life, 
Every life is a teaching tool for others. Hmm. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. Whatever happens today, you are going to inspire and people will want to follow you. So pay attention to what you do and pay attention to being brave. Take action. Again, if there's something you have been thinking about posting, maybe. Uh, if it's a quote, something you wrote, a picture, a video, whatever it is, post it because people will follow that lead. People are going to be like, oh, wow, I feel awakened. Again, magical prayer. Maybe it is something that's connected with a prayer or affirmation or you speaking about something you have, you know, experienced. It's like a magical prayer. You are a magical prayer. Pay attention because you will inspire a lot of people. So let's go to the magical prayer card. Speak your prayers. Listen for answers. Act in faith. Fate. Just listen today. Six, three, six. And as always, we are going to look that up. Six, three, six. Everything happens for a reason, I heard. Everything. <laughs> and the first thing I see here is prosperity is flowing to you now. It's guiding you towards more abundance. And it's helping to soothe your worries. But there is a catch. Okay. It comes with homework. Well, it always do. Oh, so it does say here that the masters, like the angels, the, the universe has taken your request for help seriously. As a result, they are interventing to relieve your stress, especially where your material needs are concerned. There's something today where you're realizing something and I feel that you're posting something about that to the public. Something you have learned. And remember when I spoke about the London trip, how I stressed about money and then mm, spirit was like, relax, don't do anything yet. Wait, wait, wait. And I listened, right? Even through that I felt that time was running out and me and Kiri didn't have a place to stay or anything. I waited and everything sorted out. And I didn't have to worry about the material aspect of our trip. So there might be something here where you're stressing over something. Maybe it has something to do with something you want to manifest. Could be connected with the last readings we did. But again, when it comes to the material aspect, things are going to work out. Focus on trusting your intuition so we can guide you towards financial relief. Look, people. I mean, listen, this is like a prayer. This is an affirmation, right? And I'm showing you guys it. All right, this is crazy. You guys are going to be able to, by the way, hear the birds outside. I was drawn to go out here. The birds are playing with each other. How cute is that? Anyway, do you guys remember yesterday when I talked about the signs for something I would manifest? And I spoke about flowers. I spoke about yellow and pink. If you look at the picture, there are flowers and they are yellow and pink. That is how the universe works. We may not always understand the signs, but they will make sense when we pay attention. Spirit already knew. Spirit already knew that I was going to do that. It's so funny because before I took the deck, I was like, I wonder if we're going to get the Ace of uh, Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Something is happening today where you might receive money. In an unexpected way, you might find money on the street. Future Sandra, you better look down on the street. <laughs> there is pounds flying around. <laughs> yeah, there is a relief. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing. Something is being um, healed when it comes to money. And it's something that's connected with your childhood or your past. The way that you, again, 
worried about money maybe there was never really enough money or maybe again you grew up with parents who were like well money doesn't hang on trees you have to work hard to get money you have to have a boring job where you get paid a stable income is that how you say that but it's just not life-giving right and the last card is the queen of wands so you're being guided to make money in a life giving joyful way and trust right trust that it is come it is coming your way there could even be someone from your family who's actually helping you out or again a soulmate because six of cups it could be family or soulmate someone who's helping you um if you are selling something out there service someone could actually you know buy something from you yeah if you want to buy a private reading all information is down below or if you want to buy me a copy <laughs> if you want to buy me and kiri a copy it is down below you can also just again donate to paypal <laughs> only if you want people but definitely today is a day where money is being given or received that's it people i will see you guys tomorrow